Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 79, recorded on March 27th, 2020. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. Agent Dewey J. Agent Vane. And introducing... Uh, Agent 50 Cent is out. If, if you Somewhere can't tell, he's, he's from a little far away, like Australia. So it's like 9 o'clock in the morning there. So <laughs> That's right. We're glad you're here. How does time Thank work? you. <laughs> time is uh, relative. <laughs> they say... <laughs> Are you are you anywhere near Adelaide? I mean, if you don't want to mention like where you are, that's fine. But. Well, Western Australia, so it's kind of almost the opposite side of the country from everywhere else. Okay. In uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Perth. We're 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 good with um, we're good with um, three thousand kilometer fields that score fifty mu. That kind of thing. So, oh yeah, that's what we're good for. You. Delicious rural. Mine units. So, so yeah. what, do, what do y'all call those? Like up in Canada, they're what moose units. <laughs> oh yeah. Then we use kangaroo units or marsupial uh, units. There we yeah, go, cow units. units. <laughs> that works. That works really <laughs> well. Um, so we've got some news to talk about, and I'm sure if you've ever watched ingress videos on YouTube, you've seen. 57 cells videos uh fan fields and like all this too much math for me but it's, it's a bunch <laughs> of crazy like how to uh really maximize fields and a bunch of cool stuff so go check it out if you haven't seen it but you're living Excellent. under a rock if that's the case and Excellent. thanks for the subscription there arctic rebel uh it's good to see your your name and uh have a bunch of people in chat so that's awesome too um, I, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, start with my week. It's a, It was a very short week, just more work. But also, I did get to scan my first portal. It, it happened to be a, a church. Like, it wasn't the church sign. It was the church. Jeez. And wow. So start I big. couldn't actually scan the whole thing. I got probably a quarter way around the building uh, before the, the scan ended. And I guess I could send multiple scans. But uh, I started with that one, and then I haven't done any more yet. So I'm really working towards yeah. that badge. Got to look for a smaller church, like real tiny, <laughs> you know, one that you can actually walk <laughs> yes. with. Statues and, and things like that, but I don't know. A gazebo. Start with a gazebo. <laughs> I, my phone doesn't support portal scanning currently, and with everything going on in the world right now, I, I don't think I'm going to be looking at doing portal scans in mm-hmm. A little bit of time, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. potentially. Well, what else have you been doing this week? I, I know you've probably done some Vanguard stuff. Lots of work. Um, it's, it's pretty much just been work and uh, just trying to maintain sanity with all of the social distancing and everything else going on. So doing a lot of you know rucks in and around my apartment complex and trying to hit up some of the back roads just to avoid people. And there are some portals on that route, so I am still able to, you know, get a couple of hacks in, uh, trying to get some extra power cubes, because right now it's kind of like deciding which mm. portals I want to maintain is is most of my ingress gameplay right now. It's just making sure, like, the strategic things that I want to keep up are charged, and, like, the hiking portals, because oddly enough, everybody seems to be flocking to the trails Making it to where that makes sense. You know, you don't want to be anywhere near the trails. Hmm. Are you seeing a lot of uh, spoofing? Since people can't get out, they decide to do it that way. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be more than more new. typical. Like I hate to put it that way. Uh, I'd say it's been pretty status quo with reports coming in. So okay. at least there isn't a big increase. Hopefully. 
I didn't know. I thought I thought maybe people would try that since I can't get out, and they thought, well, maybe I'll just do it this way. There was I, I heard. I don't think there was ever an ingress equivalent that got posted, but there was there was like a Pokemon Go campaign. Um, can't remember what the name of that petition site is, where it was like Niantic allow us to spoof during the yeah, COVID nineteen crisis. Of <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wow. No, no, no. Uh, well, I have been still doing some car grassing. Um, I, I still am traveling to and from work, so I'm uh, being very careful, of course, but I work kind of for a health provider, so, and putting in computers and uh, making sure that they don't lose network and stuff, because that's their mm -hmm. only communication. Um, so, throughout a Couple of more layers on fields. Nothing like nothing like fifty seven cell does, but you know, just keeping keeping my little cell alive. Um, and uh, threw out a couple of prime tips episodes because I figured people that were just caught in the house or looking for something. So if they get so bored, they would probably listen to that. So other than that, it's not like you said. Hasn't been a whole lot, but it's been a lot of rain here lately. So I have a feeling I may, if it gets good, I may go out and do a little bit. And just like you, I'm planning. I've got some trails that I could hit, and I can stay away from people. I hope, but it's a small enough town. It's rural enough that I can walk around town. And nobody will get within. That's nice. Mile. That is so. you're definitely winning in terms of that advantage. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You won't be bumping into people all the time. What about you, Fifty Seven Cell? What'd you What'd you get this week? Yeah. Um, well, things have been a bit crazy on the ingress front. Obviously, um, I've been thinking, and it. If you've got an agent who's really homebound, what can they actually do? Um, and I had crazy ideas, like they could get together with other agents who happen to have keys for their own couch portals and, and so forth, you know. But then I suspect not a lot of people have couch portals. So that's, uh, yeah, I haven't got any great ideas there yet. Um, in terms of uh, my own self, well, I've been working from home since last week. Um, my company's been good. They've been on pretty on the ball with this whole thing. Um, and I had a Times Tables board game Kickstarter that just finished. And so now, now I have to actually put that board game together and get it out there. Oh, I've, got nice. a, I've got a couple of teachers that are looking forward to that. Yeah. They can't, they can't use it for like a month, but they're looking forward mm. to it. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> It'll get ready. It'll get done. All right. Yeah. Under the news? Yeah. Sorry. I'm kind of riding the uh, dial here on some audio issues, but um, yeah. 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 Let's run through the news. Um, well, today, I think about noon uh, Central Standard Time. So that would probably be, well, I don't know what. Middle of the night for you, 57 cell. Mm -hmm. uh, NIE did some back end maintenance um, and they said it would last for a couple hours and that it may cause some increased latency in your scanner. Um, and they latency. wanted, of course, people to let them know what was going on. So I saw mm -hmm. some agents reporting that uh, they were unable to, to deploy portals. Um, very slow response. And I think about 4 30 Central Standard Time. Uh, some agents were getting some 430, or I'm sorry, some 503 errors. So that tells me that they were working on some things, especially um, the Intel. Mm -hmm. So they noted that the engineers that said that the Intel map should be better um, based on some of the changes they made. So I popped into the Intel map about, about 7 o'clock, and it seemed to be peppier, uh, but I didn't you know, put it through its paces of changing things to see if uh, it catches those changes. It, it seemed to be good for me. I don't sure. know about you guys. I, I haven't really seen anything because most of my play is normally uh, on the way f to work and on the way home from work. And working from home has really put a dent in that because by the time I'm done with work, it's like time to start yeah. dinner. And then after that it's getting late and it's like well then i will be out way too late if i go out and do ingress and uh so um i haven't been playing much lately yeah i need i need home portal they need to get in the uh, item in the game to uh give us our uh home, home portals. Portal. 
Well, just just grab some gazebo and move it into your yard, and then <laughs> relocate it. So there's one way to go about it. That's one way to do it. Then it's private property, though. <laughs> okay, move it out on the sidewalk next to your house. I mean, I got a pavilion here, like <laughs> <laughs> pavilion. Just just let it move it. It's a beautiful pavilion. <laughs> I'll just run down to the hardware store, staying six feet away from everyone. <laughs> well, you could do terrible. you could do some decoding. I, I they do have the decoding decoding challenges up and going. Is that right? Is there something going on there? I don't know. Is that right? <laughs> well, I I saw some posts, um, something about two pieces left. Um, so there must be they must be working on something. Um, I haven't haven't really kept up with the tessellation as much as I have, but uh, evidently they're still waiting on round eight predictions, um, and then they're figuring that round nine will start after those come out. So I don't know whether the tethered hand is uh, stuck at home or whether they're just holding off on that for some reason or another. But that would be one of the things that, that agents can definitely do uh, without having to go out into the field. I believe that's where all the hand sanitizer is gone. Oh, the tethered hand? Yeah. You gotta wash those tethered hands before they touch the do. tesserae. That's that probably is where it's at. Hack a portal, wash your hands. <laughs> wash your hands. I I have washed my hands so much the back of my hands are red. Oof. Gotta so, gotta moisturize. Yeah, now I gotta start doing that stuff. But uh, that'll be the next thing off the show, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> that then, milk, toilet paper. I still don't understand the toilet paper thing. Well. Somebody explained that to me the other day. That, oh, yeah. uh, when people panic, they get the basic materials that they need, and evidently mm -hmm. toilet paper is very basic, and so everybody feels they have to have it. I don't know. Like, I kind of wish I could be, you know, panic buying power cubes in bulk right now. I go. know, like, the ingress <laughs> store has the, the micro pack, but if they have, like, the big, like, you know, 46-pack of power cubes where each power cube has, like, a little bit more in it, it's like... This power cube is a level eight, but it's got like, you know, just 200 X in more than the regular power cube because it's in the bonus pack. Like, bonus pack. there you go. That's what so I do. Double ply power yeah. cubes. Then. Yes. <laughs> double ply. <laughs> you know, that's something, I mean, they, they, they've done all sorts of things that they've, you know, allow you to do extra, uh, resonators and, and they'll cut down on the time on, but I don't think I've ever seen them do a boost on, on a power pack. We've had like increased drop rate. On, on cubes before and things of that yeah. nature, but not like a tweak to the actual. No, no. I, I think if we were going to get anything, it would probably be an uh, increased drop rate because that's probably yeah. something that's a little probably easier to just yeah. do on the fly. But uh, I think they should make it fun. Just give it a, give it a random charge. So you may get one that has like 10% charge and you're screwed and one that's like 130% charge and you're bonus. Well, that's what the hyper cubes are for. Oh, that's right. And they get free packs out all the time in Harry Potter. Like, just every other week, it's like, hey, here's a bonus pack with, with like, and you're like, what's this for? And I guess it's whatever event's going on at the time. So you're ready yeah. for it. So, so I, I think would, they could do that with Ingress. I would like to see what they've done similar for some of the anniversary events where you can, to discourage multi-accounts from being able to redeem, like, a mass amount of codes, just have it set up to where if you go into the Ingress store, there's like a daily number of cubes or a weekly total or something that you can redeem from just zero chaotic, um, you know, in you just so you can do that and get small amount of cubes, keep going, keep some things charged. But um, I guess we'll, we'll kind of see what happens with that. I think right now just the AR gaming space in general is kind of struggling across the board to figure out how to adjust to this situation and I think Ingress is no exception where so much of our game is go out, travel, see new places, meet new people and right now that isn't That's, the best thing that you should be yeah, doing. You can't do that. That's no. right. Yeah, I, I, you're, you're probably right there. You know that you were talking about um, changing the games and stuff like that. I don't know whether it might help on it seems like we see spoofers that I think what they do is they get those forever codes and they just run a bunch of those codes through and that way they can get, get that spoofing account up to like level, I don't know, four or something and work a little bit more and get it up to five and that's when they start to use it. So I don't know whether they need to put like a slow mode on those forever codes. You do one a day, which yeah, I know, would be nice. I think it was uh, 
for the year seven anniversary here, when they released the the store codes that you could get for the zero chaotic matter, um, your account had to be like a certain amount of time uh, aged. That way, you couldn't just create like a new account, get all the items, transfer them off. So they could do something like that similar. I mean, yeah. they've done yeah. it before. Well, I don't know if they just take the AP off all the codes completely. Now, a lot of the forever codes have had the AP stripped. So yeah, it, would help. I, it might be incorrect on some of that. But I do know that there was like back, I think during the first Navarro, there was like a huge avalanche of codes. And what it was was a lot of the forever codes that had been like retooled to not have the AP in them. But because of that, they became active for pretty much everybody again. Cool. And uh, speaking of active or not active for everyone, Ficto was uh, released <laughs> oh. uh, at one o'clock Pacific <laughs> yesterday, I think. That went yep. over like a lead balloon, didn't it? And uh, I don't know I about you, but when I went to go it. download it, and it was like, well, I don't see it on the store, and finally went back to their Twitter, and it's like, we're coronavirus it's the reason why it's not up on google yet <laughs> <laughs> now is it out there for ios yeah, i assume it is because they just said that it was a, a google play store issue yeah that's yeah because I- yeah. that's that's where i got kind of I, I went to their site saw that they had like oh you know sign up if you want to hear more details and then could not get the app so i was like well i tried I, i'm hoping someone either got a recording or has you know footnotes somewhere because I'm interested to see if they did anything lore related with that. So if you're out there and you know if they did any you know lore teasers with that, please say something. <laughs> and little do you know, it's it's so on brand that it fits really well. So don't worry about it. We'll get get it. <laughs> so well, the the description I saw, it looks like they said it's it's going to be. Um, describes it as an accidental case of mistaken identity lands two clueless young journalists in the crosshairs of secret agents, cult leaders, I don't like that, and the global conspiracy hidden under the veil of everyday life. So now we're a cult, evidently. No, that's the enlightened. You're resistant. No, that's true. Yeah, you, you guys are a cult. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you work like a cult. Uh, but, um, yeah, so I guess maybe that's where some of the people talked about um, – uh, maybe it was a reboot of Ingress. In, uh, what is it? Not uh, Ingress obsessed. Yes, that that yeah. was my theory, my pet yeah. theory. So you it's got like, the number right. You got the two people right. I don't know if it's going to be the young ladies or not. But um, so something about empowering viewers to become part of the story and secret codes and clues will lead viewers to explore their world and intercept intelligence left by a mole in the series. Sounds like a drop. I think they're going to look for co-located portals. That's the theory that I'm working oh, on. Co-located. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to find one of those. I've been looking, but I they are. To find you. They are, and the ones that ones that should be there are no longer there. So people uh, have been moving them. That's terrible. Why would they it. do that? <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're missing out on. That's right. So. What are the predictions of how long it's going to be before we see the Ficto roll out? Mm. If, if it's already out on iOS, someone will somehow grab it and put it on YouTube and we'll all be able to see it. Yeah. But we just may not be able to like vote in the polls or whatever the interaction is they have. Mm. Uh, so that might take some time. Because it, it may be like click on this or that like while you're watching the video. It'll be interesting to see. Um, one day, and uh, ho- from the chat room, uh, Pixelbyte says that it, uh, from what they know, the first three clips were reused clips from 1218 Ben, where he found the phone. Oh, wow. So, like the really old clips from um, when the, the first uh, investigation board was posted. So, Ben Jacklin, one of the like 1218, not a researcher, just kind of like, well, He's complicated. His background's complicated, but Some guy. he gets the glitchy phone guy is, is the okay, other. Okay, I remember now. Guy. Yeah, glitchy phone guy. Yeah. So he gets the prototype ingress scanner that Devra manages to, to smuggle out during Epiphany Night and 
breaks it all apart because he gets it in like a used phone sale on eBay or something like that. <laughs> it starts ringing on its own and oh and yeah holds it near the statues it's like look it's doing things look at it I do with this <laughs> drone swoops in and like starts photographing him in his apartment and you always see the guys in the suits in the background talking into their hands so so I can see we'll, we'll that. see, I, can see that being- I, I did send them a message because they were like want to get your show on Ficto so who knows you maybe go. you'll see the Agent Academy podcast on Ficto and you'll be able to poke us in the face while we're talking <laughs> yeah. there's what we need oh man <laughs> Well, they put out one other thing that you can do without having to go outside, and that's share your favorite portal. Um, I guess that was a post in, in the community forums. So starting, uh, I guess it would have been a couple of days ago, uh, to April 15th, they want to hear about your most interesting portals you've encountered and uh, put it in your favorite uh, social media uh, portal keys and share the screenshot of your favorite portal. So. Uh, what's in it for you, other than just being great? Uh, looks like there's going to be an exclusive passcode that can be redeemed by two agents, so you get to share. Um, so they ask you to put out a screenshot, a short note of why it's special to you, your agent name, I think they said code name, um, tag it with uh, my fave portal and maybe put out an Intel link. And then uh, they'll start... Uh, I guess it's just it's a good way to kind of get people talking. You know, people are there on social media that may not know what ingress is. It's like, what is this thing? I don't understand. And so maybe they can generate a little more interest that way. Um, mm-hmm. So I think the uh, let's see the past codes have come out twenty fifth or something like that. It's April sixteenth. Excuse me. This is when the past codes might start dropping. So you won't get them right away. Right. So yeah, send them in because the few passcodes I've gotten through, like their social media stuff, have been pretty decent passcodes. I don't know if that will change with Andrew not sending them out, but uh, we'll see. Maybe Vane's sending them out now. That's right. Huh. <laughs> I mean, this technical tethered hand has made me into an avatar on occasion, where you know I've had to send out some reward passcodes to agents. So it could happen again. Could I could happen. just feel like no, could I've been again. activated. Agent Academy, I must send passcodes. Goodbye. <laughs> Might send them during the show, just a secret message <laughs> on the screen. Who knows? Just drop the passcode in the chat, see if anybody knows this. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be a dead drop or a live drop? I don't know. Social distance drop? Like, yeah, social, social distance, distance drop. drop. There we go. <laughs> You got forty meters. So. <laughs> <laughs> you were complaining about people chasing you the last time you did a drop, so that'd be really bad this time. It's like just stay in max deploy range, stay back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sojourner badges. Uh, anybody relying upon the recharge, or are you like me and paranoid, and you're going to hack just to keep it alive, just in case? No. No, I mean, no. my sojourner has been out. Yours, yours is dead anyway. Don't Mine's you? actually, yeah, I'm still at zero right now. Still so my, Mine's dead, even with recharge. So I'm actually kind of concerned about that because I've been recharging daily. So that's... Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you don't think it's working or do you think it's something they'll uh, do later? Like the I, I might, have, like, I might have missed a day somewhere in there. So I'll, okay. I'll try to take a, a closer look at it. It's... It's been it's been crazy the last couple of days, needless yeah. to say. I have just not trusted. I've been I've been hacking a portal, but I one's close by, so I can do that. So that's that's that. Yeah, it's a bit of a if if you're on if you're on fifteen hundred days, you kind of don't really want to take the risk. Do you? you want to make sure it's working before you try? Uh, the, now, the one thing I haven't really done is taking the time to really work a portal because now. But the recharge rate is, or the, uh, it's like ninety seconds, uh, mm. and then you can get sixteen uh, hacks before you burn it out. So with a cooldown mm. at ninety seconds, sixteen hacks, you could fill your inventory pretty darn quick. You could. And I, I did that on the the portal where I got the portal scan because it's basically been the only only portal I've been able to go to, uh, just because I had to run to work and grab something uh, before I kept myself inside. Uh, <laughs> And 
unfortunately, it was a neutral portal, and oh. it just would not throw me any bones, and I couldn't really get it up higher than, um, and I didn't have any eights. Like, I am dry of eights, and so, so it's just like sitting there just filling my inventory with crap, more crap and more crap. But I got a bunch of keys, so I will be... Yeah. Uh, That's what I was thinking. The first thing I thought of was, imagine how many keys you can get. That'd be a great time to key harvest. That's a great idea. I'd throw a fracker on there and just really fill up quick. Yeah, we're just gonna have a lot of starbursts from couch portals in like a month or two. <laughs> yes, that's right. And and you can get the time down if you throw on those heat sinks and. Uh, oh God, what uh, what could you get the time down to? Uh, I threw on some crappy ones and it was down to like thirty seconds, I think. Yeah, wow. you can get pretty low right now. It's get it down it's to like nice. 15 to 10 15 seconds. So I say 30 seconds, but so this is one thing that's been annoying me like when the items pop up like when you're trying to hack something and see the time that you have on it and you're like, "No, I just want to see the time." <laughs> uh, so I never really got an accurate like, "Okay, it's this long" because the time that took mm -hmm. was probably so I'd say 45 seconds. Yeah. And I'm sure if you had two agents and you could load it up with some pretty uh rare heat seeks, you could probably get it down. And then move on to the next one. You won't be really able to use them now unless you're in an area that you're not, you know. Just just be on opposite sides of the parking lot as you're putting the mods on. <laughs> See, that was kind of my plan. I wanted to talk to one of our agents that's on the other side of the cell. And him, you know, him having a, a couch portal and me having a couch portal. That works, but we just can't find that third guy. We got to find that third guy that's north or south of us. Hold on, let, let me flip mine blue, and then you just <laughs> just go to it. I'm sure, there's nothing between me and you. <laughs> well, and oh, so goodness. over the weekend, I did time. go on a uh, uh, <laughs> went somewhere with another agent, but it was because of everything. It was like uh, we took separate cars, and it, you know, it's like an hour and a half drive, and then. Uh, we had a couple times where it was like, hey, well, we can just drive down to the bottom. And it's like, why don't just one of us go? Um, and it, it it was horrible just because there were so many people in this park where there's no, never anybody there. And I'm like, what are y'all doing? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, the two of us are here, too. So I can't really say anything. Uh, but everybody yeah. kind of stayed away. I haven't been that it has been here. I haven't made it out to our trails, but I imagine that's what I'm going to see the same thing because I've seen a lot of people walking dogs and things like that. So, But we digress. We need to get into the real stuff. Um, 57 Cell. Yes. You are a fielder extraordinaire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, at least to us you are. Nice um, big triangles. Yeah, big triangles, oh, and, and and makes them all nice and blue. I like that. <laughs> but the uh, homogenous fields. Um, yes. What is that all about? Well, that's uh, that's kind of a. It's. I'll tell you what it is. It's like if you make a bunch of layered fields, you'll usually see different shades of your favorite color within the field. You know, if you imagine you've got a big baseline and you make a long a long layer, a long herringbone layer of fields, then these ones will be really intense blue or green. And then they get less intense as you go along. But a homogeneous field or homogeneous field, it's every single point in that whole region has the same number of layers. Ugh. So that's technically a really difficult thing to do. I so imagine. yes, it's kind of a, you know, because it's there kind of thing. You chuck a random bunch of fields together, you're not going to get that uniform number of layers everywhere. So that's what it is. That's what a, that's what these are. How do you plan yeah. something like that? You, there's, uh, first you have to kind of understand how they're structured because with the traditional ones, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're not making cross links, if you don't have double portals, then there's really only one structure these can have. Um, so, yeah, there's the, there's, so there's only one structure these can have. Like, you've got your large triangle, and that's your first layer. Now everyone's made, so everyone's made a homogeneous field. As long as you've made a field, you've made a homogeneous field. Yeah, true. One you've layer, one homogeneous layer. Field is yeah, everyone's easy. there in the club already. So, <laughs> you've done one, yes. <laughs> Many people have done thousands. 
Um, <laughs> if you could a portal in between and you layer them properly, then you get two layers. To make three layers, you kind of need each of these smaller triangles. Each of these smaller triangles, they need to be split as well. So you've got an extra three portals in between there. And the number of, the number of portals you need for a number of layers goes up exponentially. I mean, we're all, we're all very aware of exponential growth nowadays, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but uh, it's the same thing with homogeneous field. You want, you want four layers, you need three times as many portals. Then five layers, another three times. Until six layers, you need 360, no, how many is it? 124, 124 portals, I think it is. Yeah, unless I've got the number wrong. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. So around about there, 366 links. And seven layers would be three times more complicated than that if it could be done. Wow. So, and one, yeah, mistake, so that, one mistake and you have to like Jarvis bunch of stuff and start yes. over. Oh. That's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. It's the kind of thing, you know, no mistakes permitted here. No, a single agent from the opposite team can come and stuff the whole operation up. That's true. Those frogs would probably do that. Just well, a single agent from your team can stuff the whole thing up too, in fact. It's by making a wrong link at the wrong time. And we're, so, we're playing one of your videos that you have on your YouTube where you make a uh, six-layer one of these uh, solo. Yes, that's right. Almost solo. As solo as possible. Um, the reason you can only go to six layers is you need... For six layers, you need three soft banks on one of the portals. And you can't do that solo normally. Um, so I got a local agent here, uh, Agent EKG, who's uh, actually working in the hospitals now, all getting ready to save lives in the upcoming pandemic, um, which is fantastic. She, she put the extra mod on that I needed to complete this field, and then I stuffed it up. So I had to flip the portal. <laughs> Wait an hour and flip it back to oh, preserve wow. that soft bang. So that was a painful morning. <laughs> and how long did it take you to do the, the six layer? Um, it took, let's see, um, I can't remember now, six hours and 20 minutes. Six hours and 20 minutes. It would have been four hours and 20 minutes, except for the mistake I made. Yeah, just there, you see me bemoaning my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh That's my! I look so confident there in that clip, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be. You finished it off. You got, it, you got it right. Or, yeah, almost. Yeah. Now, how does that how does that work out for like uh, AP? Is that a good AP generator for an agent? It's a, yeah, it's a really good AP generator. This um, I did this during double AP, and Ooh. it scored me one point seven million AP. Nice. On just that morning, nice. yeah. But um, even in normal times, there's about eight hundred thousand AP floating around. That's including the catches um, and so forth. You know, it could be more than that. It could be less than that, depending what the field is like when you start. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, and three hundred and sixty-four fields is a lot of AP. Yeah, that is. And I assume that works out to a pretty good MU for your cell when you do that as well. If it's, and they tend to be decently large, yeah. So um, they, they, I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen one that's smaller than a, I, I haven't seen one that's smaller than a couple of kilometers across. And these are going to be in really portal dense areas, which will be massive MU anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they do tend to, oh, they are only six layers. They're not the most efficient way to get MU. Um, you know, that's to do a simple multi-layered herringbone or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, they do score a fair chunk of MU, yeah. So if you're, looking at, one of these, if you're looking at doing one of these, you need a dense portal area that, that has them kind of laid out right in some respects. Yes, yeah, yeah. If you've got enough portals, you can find the right layout inside. Um, you just have to leave a whole lot of portals unused. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm, interesting. Now, I'm, I'm curious because I've, I've seen, I think, pretty much all of all of your you know videos on YouTube, but I, I can't quite remember if there was ever a record discussion for like smallest. 
ah. six layer. So I'm wondering if that's if that's something that anyone's planning on, if, if it's something that anyone knows, or maybe it could be a challenge to the community. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I haven't... I don't recall anyone boasting about making the smallest one. Um, they've had people boasting about making the biggest one. So the biggest one was about... Yeah, 3,650 square kilometers. I'm not sure what that is in square miles. I can look it up. Um, Quite a bit. It's yeah, cool. it would be. It's probably bigger than that. It's more than six feet. <laughs> yes, it's more than six feet. Yeah, yeah, you're safe there. 1,400 square miles, wow. according to Google. So, And that was about 1.4 million MU in Germany. It was Germany wow. in uh, September by a group yeah. of 48, 48 yeah. resistance agents. I remember reading that one. Yeah, and they, and they they kind of kept it quiet until they had it all done and and everything because they didn't want anybody to, of course, mess it up. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, did yeah. they throw that twice? Um, I'd have to look that up. I'd have yeah. to look up the separate did it twice front. or something. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of these they're done. A lot of these are attempted before they're successfully attempted. So you read it. There must be so many groups out there who've tried and not got it done and not told anybody. Yeah. Um, I would so, say. yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, you can, if you're one of those people, then you listening in, then you can, you can dust off your, well, I suppose not this year, but uh, <laughs> keep the plans. Eventually. Dust it off one day. <laughs> Are there any, yeah, uh, or build plans? Like now's a good time for that. Yeah, now it's time to do planning. Yes, true. Are there any plans that uh, you have that you've been uh, that you're thinking of doing a video for coming up? There was uh, there was talk a while back of having an international six layer homogeneous field day in June, but I suspect that's not going to happen. So, um, and I had a little plan prepared. Well, the start of a plan prepared for that. Um, Again, you know, that's on that's on hold. It'll dust it off at some point. In terms of videos, um, some of the things I've been thinking about are null fields. How do you make really complicated arrangements of null fields? Um, oh, that'd be beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I, I know some people are quite cynical of them, but they're they're to me they just show you know you you've 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 got mastery over this game. You know how to do it. So that's that's the, that's the beauty yeah. of it. So that's yeah. a, a Halloween challenge. Make a, a jack o' lantern <laughs> with null <laughs> fields for the awesome. eyes. Wow. Is it fields. now? Do you think is it, is it possible to come up with a homogeneous field that's not the triangle, the classical triangle shape that maybe you can do? I know that you come up with like two different ones together to come up with a rhombus or something like that. Yeah, yeah, well, you could. Yeah, yeah. You could definitely, I mean, at the very least, you could just stick two triangles together and there you've got your, you've got your rhombus and make any pattern you like. There has been some beautiful artwork um, done with that. I think there was uh, some amazing green line. I can't remember what country it was now, but this beautiful artwork of this this green lion where a lot of the elements of the artwork were homogeneous fields. Hmm. So, and that's one of the things that drives, drives me to make these videos is to put ideas into the hands of agents so that they can go away and do something better, do something incredible with them. You know, here's some, you know, you've got your basic, you've got your basic paintbrush and paints in green and blue. Here's some here's some extra drawing tools you can use. What can you come up with? That's what I that's what really excites me is when yeah. people just take the stuff that I've put out there and go ten times further than that. That's really exciting for me. And some people think it math is involved, so they run away from it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they do think that. <laughs> well, I do, I do know that uh, during the IDAC field challenge, I was like sending your videos out to, to different people and kind of encouraging them because we had a lot of agents locally here that just thought that that was too high of a number to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the people that skipped out on going for the third tier of the X05 um, controller badge. So for Didact, it was kind of like, well, I, I want to go for the top tier on this one because 
I, I had some life commitments and other things going on during XO5. I want to prove to myself that I can do it and I want to do it smart rather than just go out and do a lot of micro fielding. So I actually, for like the first time in a long time, kind of dusted off the, the brain enough to put together a couple of AP generators and actually do some pretty much just like herringbone type mm -hmm. setups, but with multiple anchor points. That way I could mm -hmm. flip a couple um, and then key farm the same portals just over and over again while I was waiting for cooldown. So I wasn't using as many flip cards um, yeah. or, you know, soft banks, wasting the soft banks. But yes. yeah, that's, that's been a good resource I think for a lot of people. So yeah, I, I'm sure your work is appreciated in that regard. And if, and if you're a beginning uh, agent and you've not done a lot of fielding and you want to know how to maximize your fielding, these are probably the best videos to explain how to do that. And I, I really want to steal your uh, software that you use for that, by the way, but <laughs> I'll, we'll, we'll have to deal with that later. But he does a really good job of explaining how to get every bit that you can get. And I've used your, you know, uh, examples a couple of times and they're thinking, oh, this isn't going to work. And it's like, by golly, it works. So thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. I still get comments from time to time saying, I thought you couldn't field if the puddle's already under a field. I said, yeah. Really well. <laughs> <laughs> you can't link from it. You can link to it. You can link to it. Yeah. I love doing that and having people like con tag or reach out in the local chat and be like, what? how did you I don't understand this. And it's like, well, you see, it's, it's, it's every different. now and again. Yeah. As long as you're throwing for something that's not completely under a field, you can throw to something under a field as long as you're not crossing a link too. So, yeah, that, that takes a while for people to grasp in their heads that we talked about throwing back at one time, mm -hmm. uh, back links, or you guys give it different names. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, beginning agents, they, don't, they, just, they just can't grasp that idea of splitting that field mm -hmm. by throwing back like that. Yep, yep. It came as a shock to me the first time I did it by accident. So, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> I think I just cheated. <laughs> Don't report oh, me. I've got that resistance <laughs> software. It was so interesting. <laughs> now, right. now, now. Splitting fields was almost kind of like something that wasn't intended, I think, to some regard. Like early, early on, I can remember there was a point in time where they, they took away like the ability to, to split fields, but it was only for like 24 hours, 48 hours, maybe because of the complaints that came in. <laughs> it was like, well, this was, the, we, we never really intended for this to happen. Um, but it's, 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 it's an important thing because I mean, if you want, if you want that field to stand after they take out one of the anchors, if you split the fields, then half of it's still there. If you don't split the fields, then they could take out one side and everything goes down. You know, but if you're wanting to, you know, flip and rethrow, you, you don't split the fields. Mm. So yeah, it's 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 something you can use to your advantage. Yeah, yeah, I it definitely adds something to the game. I, I'm biased, of course. But <laughs> <laughs> you understand how it works. The rest of us just yeah. get, get shit lucky. <laughs> That's what it happens. <laughs> So I am curious because this this just popped into my mind. But what is your what is your like link to uh, field ratio? Do you is that something that you boast on or that you go um, after? I did go after it. I I um when I was a new agent, I I reached um, three thousand links with two thousand fields, and some of the local players said, "Wow, that's a really good ratio." And I thought, "Oh, is it? Oh, is that something I should be aiming for?" <laughs> 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 and I tediously pushed it up to one to one, and it nice. stayed there. Stayed there for a long time. Um, I did dip below one to one during Operation Teal Star, where we were making a link star into a double portal. So you know, I dropped back, and another local agent who's far outstripped me in terms of uh, field link ratio, he had a go at me until I pushed it back up to one again. So. Yes, it is something I try to maintain. It's just, it's almost a habit now. It's like I see, you know, I could make a field, but I'd need to throw two links instead of just one. Oh, I don't really want to do this. So. <laughs> yeah, mine, mine isn't quite one-to-one, -one, but I'm 
15.9 thousand links to 10.4 thousand fields. So, like, I try. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's above average. It is above average. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, the average is about... Yeah, that average. Yeah, I, I bet mine terrible. I, I basically live on if it you know if it shows it goes, which most people don't like. <laughs> my my rule is like four portals, four fields, and that's the way that I try to keep it <laughs> if I can. <laughs> but yeah, that's the finesse of the game. I mean, that's it. Everybody's loading up Ingress now. <laughs> anyway, I'm, you should have your Agent Academy. Still going. <laughs> Watch Age of Academy. They're all looking at their phones. Using <laughs> uh, Agent Academy. That's right. Well, oh, I don't know where mine's at. So, yeah, mine. is there uh, any anything you wish that was in Ingress, like a feature that isn't? <laughs> oh, sorry. You <laughs> know, my phone won't keep quiet. Anything I wish that was in Ingress as a feature. Um, I guess the things that... Uh, the things that annoy me the most is when I need a key and can't get it. But this is, this is, this is the game. I don't really wish that would change. It's, uh, it's a matter of, you know, if I just go out there and I think... No, I'm on my way somewhere and I happen to look at Intel and say, oh, there's a field I could make there and I'm not really thinking it through. You know, sometimes I won't have the keys. That's, you know, it's annoying, but but that's that's life. Um, there's, uh, I, I really do like the game as it is. I, I, I'm sure if I thought carefully about it, I'd come up with a, a big, long laundry list of uh, suggestions and so forth. But, uh, um it's uh, yeah. I wouldn't change a lot about it, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, we had changes when we went from redacted to prime, and yes. I think in our discussions we're saying that, you know it's really close to parity at this point, and I think it's beyond mm. parity that it's added a number of things that we didn't have in in uh, redacted. So mm. I think they're moving forward, and it seems to me anyway, uh, stability on the scanner is is much much better i don't i can't remember the last time i've had it crash out on me and do weird things now mm. i know on the back end they're they're still struggling with things mm. um but as for the scanner i and on the android it seems to be doing pretty good i don't know about fruity phones mm. uh, i don't know yeah. if they have issues there or not so it's a pretty uh, stable app now yeah yeah but there was a while there that it was it was pretty ugly there know? were a lot of complaints yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just a few. So, Just speaking of, what is your flavor of mobile phone? Yeah, I've got a Moto G5 Plus, so I'm an Android person. Um, I, when Ingress first came out, I had an I had an iPhone, which is why I didn't get a founder's badge. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I know, right? So, such is life. Um, yeah, no, I'm pretty satisfied with this uh, this phone. It's a pretty solid workhorse device i think they're selling the uh founders badge in the next pack i heard so oh, really? i think okay. you can just get it there so. <laughs> oh goodness <laughs> well, those guys advertising in college. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know if this is horrible or not but i've got eleven thousand links to or eleven thousand five hundred twenty nine links to five thousand two hundred fields that's about average, I think. That's yeah. probably about where I'm at. I think I'm. The average uh, is about two to one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm two, I'm two to one. To to Thirty-four. So I'm about mm -hmm. two to one. So I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to race mm -hmm. to see how many links I can make without making a field. Oh no! Jeez. One of those derpers. Get out of here! <laughs> Derp everything you can see, but only to Vane's home portal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come farm some keys. <laughs> you gotta Don't worry, I'm sitting on a mountain. All the portals are around him so that he can't get out. <laughs> Just block him in. I think there was a guy who did that. I mean, he. I, I may be misremembering this, but I think I saw a sit rep of this guy who had, from level one, from the beginning, carefully avoided making a single field ever. 
<laughs> so they've only there ever made leaks. Yeah, there are a couple of agents. Um, oh, I think Resistance Agents uh, Sleeves. I, I might be sleeves. butchering that one. But uh, no no control fields. Um, I, I believe mean, they were the main control fields. No, that was purpose purposeful. Wow. Like they leveled up. No, no mind control, because they were resisting the XM. Well, that ah, okay, I can see, see that. I I understand. I understand their idea behind it, but gosh, that's fielding, a lot of yeah. discipline. Fielding no lines, no fields. I believe. I think it was only only oh, bursting. Wow. Hmm. wow! Wow! I I can't imagine. Shoot, I I field every now and then without knowing it. So. Yep, easy to do. Yeah, this is like, like, like oh, triangles. <laughs> <laughs> I got points. How did he get that? Oh. Yeah. Well, I once I once had to make about a hundred links with no fields, and that was torture. Mm. And every single link I needed to make was. Uh, this was when I I had nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine fields, and I was saving up my ten thousandth field for when I flipped to level sixteen. But I had about a hundred links to catch up to get my link stat at the same level, and so every time I threw a link, I was terrified. <laughs> we went through an anomaly, and I had to tell my team leader, "I'm not throwing any links during oh. this anomaly." <laughs> yeah, we're fine with that. We're fine with that. So I'm totally totally on offense, just blowing <laughs> things up. That's but, it. I mean, going going all the way to going all the way up to level eight without making a single field is unimaginable. I can't see. I can't. I can't quite grok how someone would do that. That's an incredible amount of discipline. So it sounds like you've been playing for quite a while. I have, yes, yeah. And what? Yeah, since uh, about the second year, I think. Hmm. Did you uh, did you recurse yet, or are you? Yep. Yep, I recursed, and I'm to level thirteen again now. Okay. So slowly getting there. Yeah. Um. I recursed pretty much as soon as the feature came out, so on 42 million AP. So I had only just passed level 16. And then they announced recursion, so yeah. So it doesn't sound like you're an agent that wants to grind and get, get the AP, just grind, 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 and get the AP. You're more of just, the AP comes as you play. The AP comes as I play, yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah I'll set myself some weird challenge and go for that, and then... Yeah. Then not know what to do for a while. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I we've got a couple agents around here that are just like, I got to grind and get points. I got to grind and get points. I'm like, you're just making this work. You know, play the game. <laughs> but, well, they really have to grind and get points. So. Are, are you telling that to uh, some frogs? <laughs> no, it's I've actually I'm a member of the 15 Forever Club right here. I'll tell you that. But no, I, we ha actually one of uh, one of our players that's pretty active in our cell. He unfortunately started playing on a school uh, email account, and so oh, he got up to like, oh. I think he got up to like level fourteen, and then of course that that went away. So he just he just grind 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 and got it back to mm. sixteen rather quickly, and it, you know made me feel bad because you know he passed me twice. Wow, <laughs> I mean if you know what you're doing, and yeah. like I think post recursion. I leveled up to 12 before the double AP was even over for that year. So like recursion came out, I very quickly got up to mm. level nine, then double AP kicked in. And then I went from nine to 12 during double AP that year. And then like, I'm only back up to, to 15 now on the recursion. So if I were playing the same way I was playing during that period of double AP all the time, I'd probably be able to recurse like two or three times by now, but it's just not sustainable. <laughs> if I played like that all the time, I'd be burnt out. <laughs> yep, and that's exactly what happened to him. He kind of he kind of got burned out, and uh, for the loss for our side, um, I, I he may come back. You know, sure. being he did not at college, he might be back. Um, but yeah, he just he just kind of burned himself out because he was just running AP generators like every couple mm -hmm. days. It's mm -hmm. like, and you're just gonna burn. Yeah, but like the the didact field challenge, I really like doing that because it was probably a once in a career thing where I pretty much said I don't like wasting the items like this but I know I can do it I, I took the time to plan the generators 
So I'm going to run one because I had kind of always been a proponent of like, no, I'm going to get AP the hard way through like <laughs> just regular micro fielding and just inefficient play because I'm a little bit more of a purist. And then I had some people that would like issued me a challenge. They're like, you can't get the 800 didact. And I'm like, watch me. <laughs> so oh, that's out the window. Grind it out. Wow. Wow. Huh. Well, well, we don't want people to get, uh, you know, sick and tired and burnt no. out on watching the show. So we're, we're hitting almost an hour here. And uh, I want to make sure there's no, no more questions for 57 cell before we do some uh, housekeeping and then turn off the feed. You will get the code out before we turn it off this time, right? Um, now I will. <laughs> I mean, that's part of housekeeping. Of course uh, I would have hit that. That's just part of the show. We get all the way done. We're like, ah, crap. <laughs> so it will not be ready till tomorrow. Sorry, JBJ Blaze. I'll send you a, a, a telegram when it's ready. Yeah, that's JBJ um, Blaze trying at midnight. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. And speaking of, with all the um, corona stuff going on, I don't know how it is working from home that like I'm three times as busy than I was beforehand. But um, yeah. so the last episode is out now <laughs> on YouTube and uh, on your audio listening devices, whichever one that may be. Uh, so you can now download it. it. And if you're just now hearing this one... <laughs> Hopefully it'll be out much sooner. I will uh, <laughs> try no, to we, do that we soon. Totally understand. We we love everything you do. We know it takes a lot of time and a lot of trouble. It'll just be a nice bonus. Like if they're stuck at home, double up isolating. Episodes. You get two Agent Academy episodes for the price of one. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was kind of thinking right. with Prime Tips. Like I need to pump these suckers out because people are getting home bored. So. Yeah, yeah, and I may just put the audio out real quick from like the Twitch recording, which will be lower quality, and then replace it with a better quality once it's edited. It just depends. Mm. Um, but just keep that in mind. And same thing with the code. I will probably have it done tomorrow. Um, and speaking of, let's go ahead and give you that code. It is AA fifty seven cell AA, and that is numerals. Nu numerical those numbers. the numbers five and seven numbers. Not words e l l and, and not wrong numbers. uppercase so um go put that in tomorrow <laughs> at some point uh the episode will be on or no i won't say that um <laughs> don't make any promises i'm trying to think if there's any <laughs> other housekeeping before we shut this down Anybody have anything before we... Wash your hands. Your hands. That's right. Dodge the cops as you play. <laughs> don't, don't go out. <laughs> don't go out unless you have to. And, and if you have to go by a field or happen to go by a portal on your way to the grocery store, you know, you just might have to hack it. Yeah. And just be safe. And, and if you do go any on any adventures with other ingress cohorts, other agents... Don't be embarrassed to say, hey, let's take separate cars. Because, you know, it's the time to do that. Um, and uh, uh, stay safe. Yep. 100%. And with that, have a good week. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Oh, uh, we should say oh, <laughs> thank you, 57 Cell, for joining the show. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. No, it's been great. And, and next time you have like a big uh, video and uh, you want to talk about it, just let us know and uh, we'll get you back on the show and and uh, let you uh, tell folks here too that, hey, go over to YouTube, which his channel will be in the show notes when that's released. It's in the chat at Twitch channel. If you're in there, just click on it. Go uh, watch some videos, learn Play better ingress and uh, give him a like too while you're at it and subscribe so you know when that next big awesome video comes out and um, then head over to our channel and do the same but um, we'll see y'all like probably next week I'm gonna say probably uh, I'll go with properly sounds good thank you again and everybody have a good week bye bye